Well, this is just horrible. <laughs> I don't- and it's a holiday? It's Harvest Fest too and you're dying now? Oh my god, and no one can get behind you to feed the kid either. So she's just gonna lay there crying for a while. <laughs> this is gonna sound like a bad April Fool's joke, but I swear to you, I am serious. I'm gonna get a horse for my legacy challenge. You know the sims that live on that tiny lot in Evergreen Harbor? Yeah, a horse. For, for them. Also, look what I just loaded the save into. This is my Sim peacefully sleeping, and that is her dead wife's mother, apparently, haunting her bedroom. We're gonna be in for it today, because my Sim April is almost certainly gonna die today. The dog might end up dying today. We've got a little tiny baby that's about to become an infant today. And for some ridiculous reason, I have decided to turn this very tiny backyard into space for a horse. I think I might actually start there and go into build mode and get my horse things all lined up. There are a few things that we're going to need, like food and water. I was thinking about putting horse barrels here so we'd have at least something to play with and train with. When I did the speed build of this house, I think I used these barrels. I don't really love how they look, but it's better than nothing. I'm also gonna need a ball, and I might get rid of some of these crops, to be honest. We gotta, like, give ourselves a break here. What is all this? Hand-carved chest table? I may have to sell some of these things because my inventory is getting kind of chaotic. <laughs> oh, I had a crib. Oh, we had this the whole time. I just built a new one. <laughs> that was like my dead sim's final task was to add the mobile to this bed, but that's okay. It doesn't hurt to have two of them. I'm probably gonna have another kid, but just not yet. I'm not ready for that yet. I think that we can use the water in here, but I'm not really 100% sure. I'm also gonna want to get some of this little horse grass too, because the horse can eat all of that. I'm gonna regret this so much. <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to do this but I'm pretty sure that that is everything we're going to need. Quinn is fully rested already, and oh my god, April Bird's long life is coming to an end! Oh, I'm not ready for this. Quinn, meanwhile, is crying in the shower about the other Sim who just died, <laughs> and we're preparing to lose another one. The things I do for you, Quinn, I'm doing all this just because you are a horse lover. You better be grateful. <laughs> I'm gonna come feed the baby and then probably age it up. Oh, we got our last retirement money! Oh, good! That should pay for the horse. Hello, are you gonna help. Change dirty diaper, bottle feed. I don't really want it to be an infant, but we kind of need to just get started. I just can't keep delaying all of this. Oh, Nina, can you work from home? I'm gonna need help today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need you to stick around. All right, here we go. Our child is officially aging up. And I always like to randomize the traits, so Faye is sunny! Oh, that's good. Okay. <laughs> At least one thing went right today. That is a relief. Let me sell this diaper real fast, and then we can go into Cass, and I can give her a makeover? Smile, milestone unlocked. Okay, good. You're not gonna be smiling for long, because <laughs> your grandma's gonna die in a minute. So here's what Faye looks like. She's so cute! She's got blonde hair, because her parent has green hair. <laughs> and the game doesn't know what to do with that. I don't think that she would have blonde hair. I think I might give her black hair like Quinn has. Oh my god, the little tiny ponytail. <laughs> it's so cute. So here's what I've given her for her everyday outfit. I know I always use this. I just love the little bee. <laughs> it's too cute. And then this is her formal wear. She's not wearing shoes. I think she kicked them off. <laughs> here's her little sleepwear, her party wear, our hot weather outfit, and our cold weather outfit. And while we're in cast, I was gonna go through and redo some of Quinn's outfits as well because I realized that I only did their everyday wear. <laughs> I did this outfit when we first started dating because I was like, oh, I can't have you wearing that ridiculous randomized one. And I had in my mind that I would just do it all later. Well, now they live with us and I still haven't done it. <laughs> So I'm gonna go do this now. Okay, I just finished all of our outfits. Let me go back through and show you what I've changed. I did keep our everyday outfit the same because I kind of like this one still. We have a new formal outfit, which is kind of chaotic, but I think in a fun way. <laughs> this was like my inspo. I was going for a lot of bright colors and patterns for all of these. I didn't realize how nicely the patterns and colors on these pants match this shirt. So <laughs> I had fun combining those. Here's our new athletic wear. And then I also got a nice like horse riding outfit as well. I don't know if this is super correct because I'm no horse expert, but this is what I've chosen. We've got our new sleepwear, our new party outfit, our new swimwear, we've got hot weather, and then we also have our cold weather. So now everybody should be all dressed up and ready to go. Okay, we're back in the game though. So somebody, probably grandma, should start taking care of the baby. Our bar is full and glowing, so. 
We don't have much time left for this. April, can you like feed it or something? Baby care, baby care, feed. How about bottle feed? And then you could probably bring it over here and then like start doing tummy time to practice some stuff together. The dog is upset. I'm not really sure about what. And of course it's storming. <laughs> how am I supposed to get my horse in practice when it's like weather like this outside? Oh, let me also save this thing so I don't forget about it. Okay. <laughs> I think we've got most things under control here. I could, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I was gonna say I could adopt the horse and then go bring it and like play in the horse ranch world for a bit instead, just because that way, you know, we can actually be outside. I'm pretty sure if I click on this, I can call the ranch animal exchange and I can purchase or rescue. I'm usually team rescue, but I might take a look at what the options are when you buy them <laughs> because I've got a lot of money in this save right now. Oh, lightning <laughs> is the name of one of them. Dappleganger, <laughs> okay. Elder horse. I don't think that we should get an elder. That seems like a really bad idea. Well, let me look at the rescue ones too because I'm kind of curious just to see what options there are. The rescues are mostly babies. Oh, babies and elders, <laughs> okay. Oh, weird glitch with this layering on top. Um, I don't know which one I want to get. This lightning one is brave, independent, and a free spirit. I'm gonna do it. Oh my god, I did it. Oh, I might regret this. <laughs> I actually went and adopted a horse. Okay, it's happening. I guess Quinn's just out there trying to get a horse. Okay, we have a name picked out for this creature already. So my sim's name is Tinkerbell. Yes. You've heard of Captain Hook. Get ready for Captain Hoof. <laughs> <laughs> and we are gonna adopt this horse and name it that. Oh my god, it's already here. Hi, Captain Hoof. This is one of the dumbest things I've ever done, I think. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself already. I wanna go into cast and also give Captain Hoof a bit of a makeover. I do have eight Sims now, which is also a huge mistake. Do you think it's like really bad of me to change the color of my horse? <laughs> Is that like so terrible of me to pick a different one after I adopted this horse? It's just kind of plain. What if I want a more exciting horse? Oh, wow. That horse might be too exciting. <laughs> I like this horse. Oh, I like that one too. Maybe I'll get that one. I want to get us a cuter blanket too. And then what saddle should I pick? Oh my God, this horse is being quite dramatic. That looks good, right? This looks like a Captain Hoof to me. Maybe we could have a tiny hat as just like a finishing touch. Okay, Captain Hoof. I'm ready now. What was the point of adopting a horse, Kayla, if you were just gonna go into cast and change it anyway? But it's fine, it looks good. I like this one. Oh, I just, without thinking, clicked yes. <laughs> Apparently Quinn is cheerful now. I got a pop-up and just was like, okay. <laughs> Didn't even read it. That's not a bad pop-up though. Becoming cheerful is fine. Being here at this house is kind of stressing me out though because everybody is about to die. So I might leave and I might go all the way out to Chestnut Ridge and see if we can play with the horse out there. I know we just got it and I'm already going out somewhere else, but I can't practice in my my backyard because I'm gonna get struck by lightning. That is the last thing that we need right now. See, this is better. The sun is shining, no one's gonna die, <laughs> and we can practice riding the horse a little bit. Let me see if I can just talk to you first because you don't even know me. Oh, actually you love me. We have like a half full relationship bar. <laughs> How did that happen? Well, that's fine. That makes things a little bit easier. I don't have any horse riding skill though, so I don't anticipate that this is gonna go that well for me. I'm gonna try. Is that a, a robot? Glitch function. Now, there's something to be said about The Sims 4 having a default robot named Glitch, <laughs> but I'm not gonna get into that. Oh, it's the horse trainer. Oh, I probably should get to know you too. You might help me. Did you just fail to mount the horse? Oh my God, we're off to a bad start. <laughs> <laughs> and I've given up and gone inside. Okay, let's try that one more time, please. For my aspiration, I wanna get level 10 horse riding skill, compete in 15 competitions, win gold in five master horse competitions, and place at the ultimate horse championship. <laughs> Honestly, good luck to you. That's all I'm gonna say. I think I'm gonna come this way and I'm just gonna practice doing some jumps because we don't have space for jumps in our yard. It's too small. We have barrels and we can ride around so we can do the other skills at home, but this is the one that we can't. So I'm gonna try and build this skill for a little, I think. You broke it. Oh my god, get it together. Fix the horse jumps. We're level two horse riding. <laughs> That's actually kind of pitiful. Ew, it pooped. I'm gonna take that. I might want it for later. <laughs> I'm sorry, describing it that way is horrible. Oh, and some people made some food. That's actually really good. <laughs> I'll steal some. <laughs> That's fine by me. I don't need to cook. Everyone in our house is kind of miserable. It looks like Tinker is really stressed out. <laughs> Has to pee really bad and fear of crowded places. Let's try and do some basic jumps again. Ew, this person is like stinking up the whole place. Did did you break it again? Horse training blues, sympathy for steed, sad about the loss in the family. <laughs> oh, we could do horse training. <gasps> oh, and it's cheap. Do you wanna go try that? I mean, we might as well. We've got enough money that we can invest in it. It's not like my other saves where I'm kind of trying to worry about money. We got like 35K. We can pay for whatever. <laughs> 
How long does it take you in there? I didn't really think this through. Oh, not that long at all. And we increased our skill. Nice work, Captain Huff. You are getting kind of hungry. I might bring you home then. Unfortunately, I think it is still raining, <laughs> but we can go back anyway. You know what else we could do? We could potentially look into buying one of those weather changing machines. I never use that thing, but if anybody's gonna be like tinkering around with a, a weather machine, I feel like Tinker is probably the person to do it. Let me look and see what we can do. I think that I can leave that machine outside, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> So it's called the Dr. June's weather control device. It costs like 1500 but your sim can use this to literally change the weather. Tinker, come here. Can you make it clear skies? I feel like we've got potential for this. Sometimes it goes bad and you die, but I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Could you imagine if it did? Oh, how did it go? Something's gone wrong. The weather was supposed to be clear skies. Okay. I think it's changing to something else, but I can't tell what. Now I'm kind of scared. <laughs> what to expect. Well, I tried to have them woohoo because I was thinking about trying to fix our fun that way, but it's not working. <gasps> what are you doing? Leave that room. You don't want to be in there. I was going to see about trying to do some tummy time with the baby. It's going to have to sleep soon, but I might as well do this now while I can. Oh, <laughs> did they even woohoo or did they go straight to sleep? <laughs> I think they went straight to sleep. <gasps> Modern development. Oh, look, it painted the thingy. It like slowly updates. Of course you can't see it. <laughs> I don't even know where it is. <laughs> okay, well, you'll have to take my word for it. It slowly updates like some of the decor in this area. There you go. It like improved this section to get it a shiny new paint job. Can you try again? Oh, they have matching pajamas. I kind of forgot I did that. <laughs> I did that by accident, but it's cute. Oh, I think the cat, oh, the cat is stuck hiding under the bed. Oh, I'm sorry because of the storm. If you missed last episode, by the way, we adopted this cat Bronco because Tinker's uncle died and had that cat. And so we took it in. We kind of did it in advance knowing that Oscar was going to die soon, which sounds pretty rough, but I mean, that's what happened. We were sort of preparing ourselves. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you bringing it upstairs? It's not even, I guess it is tired. I thought I was going to need to bathe it or something. It does need a diaper change. Maybe you could do that first. Change face diaper and then soothe the baby to sleep. Yeah. No, you don't have to help me. I'm good. I can do it alone. I'll be fine. Oh, I should have put one of those little diaper trash cans up here. I left it out on purpose because the room is so small, but I'm just going to get diapers all the time. <laughs> ah! Oh my God. Are you good? My horse appears to be good. <laughs> I don't feel good about it. <laughs> Can you go inside? Please, please, please. Can you actually not put the kid to sleep in there? I think you're stuck. I think I broke it. Oh my God. Now the kid's head's under the bed. Go away. Put Faye to bed. I know you can because the robot did. Okay. <laughs> I don't like playing with infants in this game. I find it very stressful. Also, I'm pretty sure that April's going to die in the night. So everyone say bye to April. <laughs> This is her last waking moment. She's on her way out. Can I ask the horse to come to bed? Do you think it'll work? I know the horse can go in there. It's tall enough. Maybe it'll sleep. I don't know if you're tired or not, but I did what I could for you. It's storming a lot, so just stay. <laughs> Please. Is there a reason you won't stay asleep? Oh God, no, 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 no. Who is it? Who died? Olive Tinker. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Olive is Quinn's mom. Yeah, everyone's gonna die today. <laughs> we knew this was gonna happen, but it doesn't make it any easier. The rain stopped. So that's one good thing. And the horse is just kind of standing there for some reason. Oh, poor Nina. You're self-repairing and you're gonna be self-repairing from now on, I think. <laughs> I'm just waiting for April to die at this point and it's kind of making me nervous. Oh, Nina's scared of the dog. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how that's gonna work because you're okay. <laughs> Let me read this to you. Nina never knows what is lurking in the dark. Darkness is nothing but a veil to hide the most gruesome and terrifying creatures of the night. She feels like they could pop out at any moment. And lately, this man named Vlad keeps calling. Yeah, because you're dating him. I don't really know why you're acting surprised by that. I was gonna say, I don't know how the fear of the dark thing's gonna work because you're you're dating a vampire, but what, you're scared of him calling you? Really? Oh, we made it. Oh no, we didn't make it. <laughs> Oh my god. I was like, she made it through the night. She's gonna go feed the baby. And then I looked. No, she didn't. She was dying. I thought she was coming in here to feed the kid. You're dying right in front of the kid. Oh my god. I think it's because there's nowhere else where there's enough room upstairs for her to die on the floor. So she has to come in here. Well, this is just horrible. <laughs> I don't. And it's a holiday. It's harvest fest too. And you're dying now. Oh my god. And no one can get behind you to feed the kid either. So she's just gonna lay there crying for a while. I know I'm laughing, but I actually want to cry. <laughs> this is horrible. Oh, Tinker, I'm so sorry. Now both your parents are dead and you have to watch all this. <sighs> Okay, well, this is just the worst. <laughs> I miss you already, April. I had so much fun playing with those Sims. That was such a fun generation of this challenge, and I'm like genuinely devastated by this. <laughs> I mean it. I'm really, really sad. Anytime you reach this point in a legacy where there's like a changeover, it just sucks. It really sucks. Oh, now the horse decides to sleep. Look at all this poop. What the heck? <laughs> We've got like 
<laughs> poop literally piling up in the yard. That's okay, I can sell it. So Tinker is gonna work from home today. We have to get level two handsiness skill, acquire recycled materials, and present a municipal concept. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, to work on these, maybe we could go down to the community lot in this world after we get some food. Oh, Grim is still here and watching TV in my house. Are you serious? Bye. Thank you, Grim. This game is just too much sometimes. Oh, and Quinn's getting sick. Oh my god. I don't think there's any food left in the fridge. Is it empty? Oh, it's just empty plates. We cannot win. <laughs> Nothing is going right. Okay, you have to start cooking then. You can make a grand meal if you want. Oh my god. Apparently you can't make a grand meal. You lit it on fire? Are you serious? Okay. Literally nothing can ever go right in this game. It's just unbelievable. Hurry up. Put the fire out. The baby's upset. I'm- that's fine. I'm going somewhere. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, don't cry about your parents. Please stop. I need to move those. They're- they're like in too accessible of a location. I can't have them down there. I wanted to come to the community space because we haven't really taken advantage of this too much yet. First visitor milestone? Is that about Grim? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that is so, so chaotic. I cannot believe that. Okay, well, I'm gonna come here. I would like to- Stop! Get away from me. I get to die for deals, not you. Can you try and sort out recyclables too? Okay, that actually does not work at all. <laughs> you wanna try and die for deals? See if we have an easier time this way. I can recycle all of this stuff and it'll be fine. And then maybe I can try and present a municipal concept to like one of these randoms that's over here. I got a fridge. Oh, that's actually not that bad. So at these community spaces, when the voting opens tomorrow, we can try to vote to make it into a maker space. I think that we can easily win that vote as well. <laughs> so, oh, I got a dumpster bed. Oh, cool. But I would like to do that because right now it's nothing and then maybe we could try to rebuild something We could do like a whole video trying to make a cooler one I'm gonna recycle out of my inventory a bunch of this trash stuff that we have because I have things like these dirty double beds Parsley <laughs> I'm gonna try and recycle all of those. I'm kind of disgusting and smelly now. I acquired my recycled materials I don't even know how to present a concept So I guess I'll come talk to Caitlin and just try I don't ever play this career So it's oh freaking cheerful and hates children Good for you. I need to draft a blueprint and then I should be able to talk to her. I don't know how long it takes to do one of these. I feel like it can't be that long. Oh yeah, it took like two seconds. Present concept to Caitlyn. Is that really all I have to do for like the whole day? <laughs> that feels like it was too easy. And now we can go back to the drafting tablet and modify the concept to try and improve it. Oh, okay. Let's go back home then because I think that I want to try and like shower and eat. <laughs> We can celebrate Harvest Fest even if today is a bad day. Oh, this thing's broken. That's good. You can try and repair it to get your handiness skill up. You know what? Sometimes ghosts being here aren't all that bad. <laughs> Sometimes maybe it's a good thing to have the house be haunted. Okay, I'm gonna try and talk to the baby some more. We should try and do some tummy time if possible too. Oh, and I got my handiness skill up. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Look at how the cat is sleeping right now. I love this thing. <laughs> you are very cute. Nina, do you want to hang out with Oscar? Oh, Oscar is sick. Quick, give it a vet treat. You know what? This is actually honestly kind of cruel. My cat literally as we speak <laughs> is having surgery. Well, not that's not true. In real life, she's having surgery tomorrow. When you see this, she's having surgery today to remove a cancerous mass on her leg. So my Sims dog being sick and also being on the verge of dying is really not okay. <laughs> <laughs> that hits a little too close to home for me. I am not comfortable with that. Well, Tinker, if you want to, you were working on fabricating that living chair. You can go back down and keep working on it. I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. Let's go get dinner at the Dirty Crab so we can talk about it. <laughs> what? Okay, so this is a, a restaurant that I built in the university world. Dory and April, when they were younger and in college, they used to come here all the time. And so the idea of our dead mom calling us to invite us out to one of her college favorite hangouts to talk about our other dead mom is kind of iconic. <laughs> I think I might actually go. We don't need to do work. We, we can just get some food and hang out a little bit, I think. My sim is starving. It's a holiday and I came here alone. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's request this table. We don't need to celebrate the holiday. It's it, This is no time for a holiday, okay? We've had enough going on. It's kind of fun. We have like movies playing out here and everything. Okay, so let's get a couple sodas for each of us and then maybe I'll buy a veggie burger and mom can have some popcorn shrimp. It's not a very complicated menu. It's like basically just fish. Oh, Brienne. <laughs> you okay? Doesn't look like it. This is kind of fun. I think this is a nice way for us to celebrate the end of her life. You know, we can come here, we'll hang out, we'll get some food, we'll celebrate things that Dory loved when she was young. And now that the weekend is coming up, I was gonna tell you all, I'm thinking about having, oh, I was gonna have our wedding on Saturday, but it is Halloween. <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. 
No, I think I will. We'll we'll have the wedding on Saturday. I don't think anybody has work on Saturday, so that should be fine. Yeah, Quinn doesn't even have a job, so. <laughs> oh, I found a ring in McKenna's bag. I think she's going to propose to me. <gasps> say yes, say yes. We were just talking about wedding. That's our, that's our sister. The food is still not here. It takes like forever. <laughs> I'm still waiting. Wait, here we go, here we go, here we go. Finally, okay. Eat your veggie burger, friend, before you literally starve, because you're getting close to it. <laughs> and it's almost Faye's birthday already. Oh my God, short lifespan is scary. Why are you standing to eat that? Is there a reason? Okay, well, thankfully it's kind of cheap. So I'll just end the meal and pay the bill and then we can go home. Part of why I wanted to wait until the weekend to have the wedding. So I kind of like the idea of the kid coming. So it'll be good because now the baby will be at least a toddler by then. I kind of forgot just how fast everybody ages up. <laughs> it's been like a day. I may as well see if anybody else in this house wants a grand meal. Although now that I think about it, you were the only other adult here. <laughs> so nobody else can have one. The robot can't eat. I might try to appease these gnomes too. See if we can do anything with that. You want to give it a salad or something? I don't think that's going to work. Oh, never mind. It did. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's fine. You could probably put up some decorations. This is so unfair. She loves a grand meal, but she literally isn't allowed to have one because she's a robot. She can't eat it. <laughs> That's so sad. I'm so sorry, Nina. I'm so sorry. The baby is screaming again. Someone has to come put it to bed, I think. Put Faye to bed. Do you need anything else? Oh, it fell asleep on the floor. Oh, never mind. Just leave it. You can stay there. <laughs> That's fine. I'll worry about that later. <laughs> <laughs> if you're asleep, I'm not gonna be waking you. That's all I'm gonna say. I will take as much sleeping as we can get. Okay, I probably should also try to repair all of this stuff. Like, let me see if I can replace this. I think it destroyed my shelf too. Oh, that's what these are. That was the clutter that I had on my shelf. It's just completely gone now because it all burned. <laughs> oh, well, that makes me feel kind of sad. <laughs> okay, and nobody even talked to the horse a single time today. So that's bad. Our hygiene is getting kind of low. Maybe we could brush you. I'll sell your poop while I'm at it, okay? The poop gets everywhere. I guess I'm just not really used to having such a small space for the horse. Like normally it has more room, so the poop is like more spread out. But in this case, we have no room. So <laughs> the poop is like all confined in this one tiny place. I didn't realize just how much the horse pooped. Oh, you're sleeping outside again. And Harvest Fest was awful. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it kind of was. Poor Nina has to repair herself again because now there's nobody else in the house that has a robotic skill. So nobody else is a around to help us. She's got robotics almost level seven, so she's getting there. It must be sad for her to like outlive everyone in her life. I kind of feel bad. I don't know how she's gonna go on like this. So the baby has zero days until aging up. Oh my God, how is that even possible? Oh, and you're already helping it. What is that outfit? I didn't put you in that outfit. Do you have an extra outfit that I didn't realize was there? Ugh, why, <laughs> why? Oh, today is night on the town. Of course our dead mom invited us out last night instead of today, it would have been free today. Maybe Maybe we could try to have some sort of like bachelor party today or like some sort of pre-wedding social event because that might be a fun way to try and make today a little bit less sad. <laughs> We're dealing with a lot because of the death of our family, but we could at least do something to try and improve it. And then we'll have the wedding tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna work from home today. I need to draft and submit a concept, it sounds like. To do that, I just use the mailbox, I guess? Oh no, do I have bills? The mailbox is full. It's probably just presents, to be honest. Submit concept. Um, okay. I think they're both bad, but either way is fine. <laughs> I don't really care. Should I submit them both? And voting's open, so we can go do that too. Let me see. I want to find all the way across the way. If you could come out here, I would like for you to vote on some neighborhood action plans. If we could vote on these and then also go vote for our community space, that would be great. The environment is really improving around here as it's slowly getting up, like the upgrades and stuff. Eventually these are going to get painted. I think that's the last improvement. It's like a combination of trees growing slowly and like all of these plants showing up. Nina, go to work. Are you stuck? Well, I think she's stuck again. <laughs> Somebody got stuck like that earlier. Go to work. Oh my God, it takes us like 50 years to walk all the way down here. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe I could build a cool restaurant or something to go right there. I need to add that to my list. So we wanna make the new maker space and we wanna make a cool new restaurant too, right? Green gardening is fun because it gives you some gardening perks. I don't really wanna turn on like clean energy production. <laughs> oh, fishing, gardening, and handiness rewarded. Actually, self-sufficiency seems like it might be good. I think I'll put like eight of my points towards that and see how that goes. And then I'll go down to the community space and I'll see if I can vote on that too. <laughs> so if I come down this way, I can vote on community space projects. I should have just come here. I could have voted on both from here. <laughs> I'm gonna put the rest of my votes towards makerspace. I have, oh, I have like 11 more. I'm not worried about that getting competed with, but 
we'll see how it goes. And then I'll probably just go back home. I don't really need to be here. There's not anything here anyway, so it doesn't matter. I didn't really think this through, honestly, when I started playing with this pack on short lifespan, because it actually takes quite a long time. There's a lot of delay in between the votes and stuff, and you don't really have time for that on short lifespan. I almost feel like the voting period should be shorter when you're playing on a shorter lifespan. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get Faye laying down on this little playmat, cause I would like for you, oh, you're tired. No, I think you slept a bit while I was gone. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's terrible. I'm like, no, I think she slept while I was out at the fabrication place. I don't normally cheat needs, but at a certain point, you know, there's only so much I can handle. And my cat's having surgery this week. I'm allowed to cheat needs, right? That's how it works. <laughs> If enough bad things are happening in real life, you can cheat your sims needs. Okay, I'm actually gonna have Quinn come work on the barrels a little bit while we're here. It seems like we're all kind of just hanging out today working on some skill building, so we might as well. What, are you just gonna stand there? Oh, it glitched. Okay. Did I finish fabricating my chair? <gasps> cool! We can also purchase dyes. I might get some of this canary yellow dye and see if I can make anything else cuter, because I really like the idea of making one of these fabricated living chairs, and I can make a yellow one. We just did one in white, but the yellow is more fun. And we still have to fabricate five items. Oh my god. We're gonna be here for a while. Okay, well, I don't want to jinx anything, but miraculously somehow the dog is still not dead. I really thought it was gonna die today, but maybe it's for the best that it hasn't and I should just let it be. <laughs> maybe I should just accept this and, and not really mess with it because we can only handle so many deaths in a day and we've had a lot of pain the past couple episodes. <laughs> Look at me and my horse. They kind of match each other. I don't know how to explain it, but it's cute. <laughs> And I think on that note, I might end this video right here. I hope that you enjoyed this one. I always have the best time with this legacy and there's so much going on. So next episode, we're gonna have the wedding. And then probably the episode after that, I might have another baby. So we have a lot of stuff just nonstop going on. We're obviously gonna have to age up Faye in the next episode too. I'm kind of trying to like stall and delay it a little bit because I don't really want her to age up straight away. I think aging up twice in one video is too much. <laughs> I think that's like going too far. We need to space it out a bit more. Look at how cute the baby is. Look, you know what? Infants aren't all bad. Okay, sometimes they're kind of cute. <laughs> and this was doable. We've got three adults, or like two adults and one robot, so we can manage right now. But like I said, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. And I guess by the time that you see this video, Snap will be in surgery or maybe out of surgery. So I'll be posting some updates on Instagram. If you want to go follow me there and just see how things are going. A lot of you might not care, but some of you probably do care. So I <laughs> just figured I would mention it.